this wet battery can be converted to the crystal battery. Welcome in the channel America Woodworking Tricks. My name is John and I am uh, owner of the woodworking shop, cabinetry shop. But today I'll be doing something what I never done and could be useful for me and could be useful for you as well. I must bought the battery for my forklift. This is the 600 crank battery brand new and this is the wet battery everybody said me oh buy the uh, agm or some other kind of battery but this kind of battery least expensive and the weight doesn't matter for my forklift it doesn't matter the battery is five pounds lighter or heavier because the forklifts handle this anyway but this wet battery can be converted to the crystal battery. And I read about this like 12 years ago and about 10 years ago I watched the YouTube channel of the American guy making some tests about that kind of battery. By the way, that kind of battery using American uh, army in the vehicle. So, uh, is a much much better than the gel jelly battery than the AGM uh, battery or any other and is so easy in home convert it but like I said I never did it in theory I know how to make it so right now I try do I hope I not hurt my battery and we before I start the process, I want to be sure the battery is in a good shape. And as you can see, it's almost 13 volts. So let's rock and roll. Very important thing, gloves. I actually put two pairs because the gloves nowadays are very weak and glasses and some kind of stuff like this or bad clothes because the acid destroyed your clothes because it's an acid so be careful don't be a crazy and definitely don't be a stupid with glass because i need reuse part of this acid so i use the clean gl uh, glass some kind of part for a cooking but Okay, I must make it twice. Very carefully, I try pull this to the plastic container. Okay, I need know, and I need that container with the gauge so I know how much I get. I need rings more Now other part, finally. Okay, I think that's it. That's it. I have a two liters and 0.75, 2.75 of the liters. So I need half now in the other container. 
like I said, I have 2.75 liters, so I need half of this stay here and the half I put away to the other container. Now be the most important operation. I have here one kilos of the silicon dioxide. I hope you can see. And I must mix this half of the acids with the silicon dioxide. How much? I don't know. The uh, acid is supposed to turn from the liquid to the color uh, like a, like a whites of the egg okay I cut this oh maybe it's yeah finally open and I have no idea how much so I try just stirring and adding till be consistency as a white from the egg. getting denser okay put already two that kind of cup is like a half of the liter and this is the third one you know it needs to be like a white of the egg so I don't know how much needs to be needs to be that much that should be done as much as necessary and just stir it all again getting denser yeah it's almost just a little more I put the fourth cup like this and we'll see probably be enough because you can see is already like a like a jelly like supposed to be I stir this for a couple of minutes and let it rest and then maybe I add a little but not not much just a little I put already four, four full and a half of that container, the silicon dioxide, and it's like this. So you see, in my opinion, is good enough. I pour this the battery you see the consistency is like a white on the egg I must be careful because I don't wanna overdose but as you can see it's going well so
it looks like the best way is hold the funnel up of the hole and let it drop in so you can see what's going on and then put this to the next one and again it takes time so sorry but oh 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 oh, oh. yeah that it look like I leave this for a half an hour because I'm not sure. It seems to me that is good enough, but it lets it sink in and we'll see. So about half an hour. It's a little bit noisy because the huge, huge heater works, but I left this for one hour. I went to the lunch and looks to me really good. The level is about what the acid used to be. I never did this before, so I leave this like now, like that. We'll see what's going on. Look at this. It's still open. This look like the level of the mixture and right here it look like almost what used to be and now I make the you see yeah and now and going back going back so I think I did it I check this tomorrow this morning next day I put the charger just take a look and check up what the condition is and this is not smart charger this is a stupid charger so it's not any electronic inside and it shows that the uh, charge battery is complete charging is complete so and the fluid I try I try show the fluid look like I don't know is the solid now yeah look uh, camera you see it's a solid so I think I did it I did it I did it I did it the last check up and you see on my corner is a solid and the battery is exact what it used to be when I bought it so just 24 hours and I got a brand new crystal battery and it cost me to transfer transform this like a I don't know 25 bucks you see I did it as you saw you were the witness I convert the wet lead battery to the crystal battery and I put the link under the video so you can go to the other guy who is the science and the science can uh, explain what's going on and what is the parameters of the of the crystal battery but I can say you that what I read they are much much better than the AGM and the 
uh, gel battery and uh, any other kind of battery. <sighs> Must be better because army using this. Uh, so connect the gauge and the battery is here 10 days and not charging it at all the crank is 600 you see the numbers and you figure it out itself so I try hold this so you can see well but just you see the number so Now I make the uh, resistance test, so I hold this 10 seconds and then put this back, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And you see it's over 12 and going back so I'm not expert from the battery so you must figure it out yourself and answer the question is worth to convert the lead battery to the crystal battery I'm not sure you can see is the solid on a on a bottom. I must probably add a little bit, but for now it's for is good and the forklift is works and you know. I know that the technological progress is based on a experimentation. However, remember, to be honest, I must tell I am not any expert on a battery field and whatever you make with your battery, uh, according to my experiment, remember, you do this on your own responsibility. <clears throat> I know <laughs> some things must be done just in theory and then build but still you need make experimentation and that is the progress of the technological progress and I'm not the guy who is the Alpha and Omega but I hope it helps you to convert your wet lead battery to the uh, lead uh, crystal battery and this must be good because the army using this and they need good reliable stuff so if you found the video is useful, give me thumb up. That's not much. Have a wonderful day.